Hype, hype, hype. Hey, yo, what is up? My name is Ishan. You're probably busy, which is absolutely perfect because on this channel, we like to keep things quick and to the point. So in the next few minutes, we're going to be going over two major red flags of Neo stock. Something everyone seems to be forgetting. We're seeing all these videos about, wow, Neo stock is awesome. You should buy Neo stock. But we're forgetting about the risks, which are always important. But that is until now. With that being said, let's clock in. Before we get into the video, I need to make a quick disclaimer. I do not hold any long or short position on NEO stock. I have a bullish view on NEO long term. EVs are the future. And NEO has a pretty good future, especially what they're doing with battery swapping and all their technology. It's pretty crazy. But like any stock you buy, you must be aware of the risks. You can't just blindly look at the good and totally ignore the bad. So today, you're gonna get an unbiased view into NEO's red flags. The first red Red flag and probably the most controversial is Neo's debt. I can already picture people in my head going down to the comment section and saying, oh, well, Tesla also had a lot of debt and Neo needs the cash to grow. Well, I agree with both those points. Neo does need money to grow. But taking in money at the rate that Neo is could prove fatal down the road. Since 2014, Neo has lost more than $6 billion and has only continued to take on more debt. Neo took a $200 million loan from its founder and Tencent in September 2019, a billion dollar loan from several state-owned companies in Hefei, which basically means the government, and recently completed the offering of 72 million American depository shares to raise 428 million and a 1.4 billion dollar credit line. But to see how desperately NEO actually needed this cash, it doesn't take more than a glance at their earnings report. NEO said in their first quarter report that their 338 million in cash at the time was not adequate to provide the required working capital and liquidity for continuous operations in the foreseeable future. And this was the second straight time that they issued this warning. Sure, they have enough cash now to pay off their massive $1.3 billion in current liabilities now that they've raised a ton of money, but all this debt raising should be a big red flag to investors. Because a company like this that is raising this much money, struggling to stay afloat, and lastly, probably probably want to be profitable for a very long time to come, will probably have to raise more cash down the line, which either means more debt or selling more shares, which means diluting shareholders. Red flag number two is their deal with the Hefei government. And this, I believe, is the most important and the biggest red flag, so stay with me. And it's probably not for the reasons that you think. As I mentioned, NEO inked a deal with state-owned Hefei companies to raise $1 billion in cash. As a result, NEO formed a separate company called NEO China, which they are placing all their Chinese assets, or in other words, almost their entire business into. As part of the deal, the Hefei investors will own 24% of the company Neo China and Neo will own the remaining 76%. What a lot of people have ignored about this deal are two things, and the first is that NEO has not sold any of their debt through this deal. Meaning, NEO essentially sold 24% of their assets but still own 100% of all that massive debt. But you know what? I'll let this one slide, I'll let this slide. The main thing about this deal is that it significantly hurts NEO's chances of expanding its business to other countries. Stay with me and let me explain. Remember that company Huawei? Well, Huawei has been blacklisted from a ton of countries and guess what? The Chinese government doesn't even own a 0.1% of the company. Now, NEO has sold 24% of their company to essentially the Chinese government, which has given them voting rights to various significant corporate matters of NEO Anhui and its controlled entities such as its change in NEO Anhui's corporate structure, change of its core business and amendment to its articles of association, which NEO says may significantly limit their ability to make certain major corporate decisions with regard to Neo Anhui. Now remember, Neo Anhui is different from Neo China. Neo China contains all of Neo's Chinese assets. Neo Anhui 
You guessed it, the rest of their business. So anything foreign, that's not their Chinese business. That's going to be directly linked to Neo Anhui. We've heard from Neo's co-founder and president that Neo plans and wants to get into the Europe market. But when you're a company that's given the Chinese government that much controlling stake into your company, plus you store users' data from when they use your cards, that, my friend, is a no-no. This deal with Heifei, while it saves them, it could certainly bar their chances of entering foreign markets and eventually maybe even kill their chances of entering the foreign markets. And remember, my goal isn't to be a bull or a bear here. A lot of people buy stocks based on hype, and honestly, I can't predict anything that I said in today's video. This isn't a bash of the stock, but more of information provided to you as the viewer who might potentially build a strategy strategy around the stock and some red flags that you should know for that strategy. So let me know what you guys think down below. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Remember, this was no way a bash on Neo. I believe in them long term, but these are just some red flags that could potentially have an effect on the company. So make sure you smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Clocking out for now. Take it easy. Peace. Peace